Yeah, she had some pretty compelling things to say. You know, she's stuck in her car right now as we speak, just sort of observing what's going on. But let's bring everybody up to date on what we know right now. This is a police-involved shooting, as we mentioned earlier. The call for this came in just before 9 o'clock this morning, that there was an incident going on at the Flamingo Inn, which is a motel here along the Berlin Turnpike, where we are standing. We have actually been pushed back from the scene, so you can't tell uh, where the motel is from here. We are right now awaiting a joint news conference between the Meriden Police and the State Police, which they just updated us, is expected to take place sometime between 4.30 and 4.45. When it does, of course, we will bring it to you live on our air. But as you had mentioned, we did speak exclusively a little while ago with an eyewitness. We want to play what she had to say. Tell me what you experienced this morning. I'm supposed to be going to work, trying to get ready for work, and then just hearing all those sirens and then hearing a whole bunch of cars fly by the room. I mean, like, once I show you, show you this, you're going to sit there and see how scary the road is. And when you hear somebody going that fast, it's a little scary. And then, like, I peeked my head out the window, seeing maybe, like, one Meriden cop and then maybe six or seven undercovers all out the window, all at the door, 102, open up, open up. Everybody had their guns drawn. And then after that, everybody else started coming really quick. Like, then the Army people came, then more cops came, then the SWAT came, and then that's all that I can see from here. I can't see down the hill. So the SWAT car is blocked off everything. And you so the, the, owner, the owner up here, the owner's all the way down there, too. They won't even let him anywhere close to here. And this was four rooms down from where you were, you said, right? Correct, 102. Yeah. Um, and uh, they evacuated you to your car, which is where you've been observing everything that's going on. What are they saying to these people? Um, they just keep sitting there saying the phone number. You know, if you want to call to make your plan, to make it a safe plan, they don't want nobody hurt. They keep telling us, like, West Hartford, the cops, you know, just come out, put your hands up. It's the same thing over and over and over. So then, like, you have five or six of these Army people basically taking turns, like, for five minutes each, just pointing the guns at the door. And they have a robot, you said. They have the drum. Yeah, the drum's been right above it for the last two hours, maybe. And so, again, one person has been shot. One person is still barricaded. And we have confirmed that no police officers have been injured. We want to stress that what you heard was an eyewitness account of what is still going on. We are awaiting that official information uh, via a joint news conference with the state police and Meriden police, which, again, we expect to happen between 430 and 445.